This is the Department of Justice, United States Attorney's Office, Eastern District of Pennsylvania, the waiting area. I'm hand delivering. There's a picture of Mr. Eric Holder, a picture of President Barack Obama, and there's the seal of the Department of Justice. We pro domino justia sequitur, United States Attorney's Office, Eastern District of Pennsylvania. It's Roxanne Greenwich on 11-9. 2010, we're hand delivering our respectful request for fair deployment, the assistance of the Federal Fugitive Task Force to rescue mob abducted uh, Ezekiel and Ariel Brown and return them to their grandparents and their mother, Lorraine Greenwich. God bless. This is Roxanne Greenwich. I just hand delivered uh, to Mitchell S. Goldberg, the federal judge in 210 CV 00179 MSG, Lorraine Greenwich versus Sandra Sullivan, Eric Brown aggravated assaults on minors in the commission of other fraud crimes and as I'm walking back I also went to the, the US Department of Justice attorney uh, Zane David Memager's office I have film of that but I thought it was important to note as I passed the Independence Visitor Center this is the state of what our dear Constitution has become you see a person who just totally beat down and, and given up in front of our Independent Visitor Center with our very dignified language from our U.S. Constitution written on the wall of Independent Visitor Center. Nearby there were some rangers. I didn't uh, film them for the, to respect their privacy. But this is in plain open sight. I want to just say that the importance of, uh, of uh, notifying uh, presidential advisors uh, Valerie Jarrett uh, and uh, Melanie Barnes regarding domestic violence and foster care events October 29th announced by uh, President Barack Obama and Joe Biden where all federal agencies have issued new tools and best practices to judges and uh, evaluators and everything is the first administration that recognizes the problem is lies in our family court that the domestic violence epidemic and children not being safe at home start is being started systematically and perpetrated by financial incentive relationships, public official corruption, fraud and civil rights felonies inflicted upon working class student and impoverished families who petition domestic relations judges uh, for protection from abuse and are systematically denied protection from abuse for the sake of siphoning the children for the billability profit of state agency DHS contractors. Our particular administrative judge here in Pennsylvania, Kevin M. Dowdy and Margaret T. Murphy share flagrant conflicts of interest with multi-million dollar DHS contractors, Cora Services Inc., Children's Hospital Inc., the Opulent Luxurious Union Inc., private social clubs, and beneficial bank and other financial institutions. They are way beyond having any concern for fair adjudication of what is in the best interest of families and children. Okay, and that's why we included on our uh, respectful request for fair assistance of the Federal Fugitive Task Force to rescue uh, abuse of parent mob assault abducted uh, on June 8th, Ezekiel Brown and Ariel Brown, ages 4 and 2. For, and to arrest Eric Brown and Sandra Sullivan, who are fugitives in both the public mob assault case and the federal case, 210 CB 00179 1213 2009, aggravated assaults on minors while in the commission of car theft, insurance fraud, SSI fraud, bigamy, perjury, fraud of every Philadelphia court, child support enforcement, and so on. So let's see how they act, if these particular prosecutors. Uh, Mr. David, Ms. Zane David Meminger, who's different from Ms. Mr. Michael Levy, who ignored our request for help in the FBI local here. That's to help us gather the docket monitoring and letter notice uh, data that showed there was a systematic abuse of immunity language, corruption, uh, court reform, state of emergency here in the Eastern District of Pennsylvania. So let's, I just refuse to give up hope that there are ethical prosecutors, there are ethical decision makers that are going to intervene, hopefully, and do the right thing. God bless everyone. Continue strongest prayers for the rescue of children, elderly, and disabled of all ages, which are transported for the profit and billability of state agency DHS contractors, human trafficking, modern-day slavery. It's RoxanneGridditchHigherLyrics.org.